Well, hello and good afternoon. Yes, we're going to uh, show you a little bit here how to win at horse racing by watching the tote board. I'm also just doing a little bit of a rehearsal stream because this evening I'm planning on playing the early pick four at Remington Park. Um, and I would like to live stream the <laughs> yesterday. Oh, that was like the most awesome moment ever as they were going to the gate at the Derby and this whole entire channel just froze. I think that was the biggest live stream I've ever had. And now, yeah, this is starting to slow up. So it looks like maybe, I don't know if I've got all the bugs worked out. I'm assuming people might be tuning in. I don't know. Not yet. We'll see. Um... But yeah, I'm going to show you guys, since we're doing a live stream here, and I want to test this out, a quick and easy method. I was at a magic store once in Vegas. I mean, a magic store of all places. And I see this little pamphlet behind the counter, and it said, how to win a horse racing. And I asked the person behind the counter, I was like, how much is that pamphlet? She's like, $2. Was like, what a deal. By then, I was already, you know, playing very frequently, and I was, I guess, looking for some cheap amusement, or I don't know. But what I read out of this pamphlet... I mean, it's not actually a bad strategy. It's not actually a bad method. I'm not telling you it's a winning one, but you'll certainly have your, you know, your winning moments. I actually cashed a ticket yesterday on the Derby using this strategy. So I'm going to teach it to you guys right now. So what you need is you get, you got to know, you got to have like at least the program. So you can get the morning lines for all the horses. Here, let me blow this up. You need to know the morning lines for all the horses. Then, at 10 minutes to post, you go back through and you write down the current odds of all the horses. And then you go back through and you do it again at 5 minutes to post. We're going to do it right now. So the one sitting at 7 to 1, 6 to 1 for the 3, 7 to 2 for the 4, 9 to 5 for the 5, 13 to 1 for the 7, and 9 to 5 for the 8. Okay, now what we're looking for is any horse that has been bet down from its morning line by more than 50%. Well, the 8 is a 12 to 1 morning line, so no, it has not been. It would need to be 6 to 1, which it was earlier, but it's come back up to 8, so that's a no. Uh, the number 3 is a 9 to 2 morning line. That's gone up. That's definitely a no. 4, 5 to 2 morning line. That's gone up. That's a no. The 5 was a 3 to 1 morning line, but it's sitting at 9 to 5, so it has been bet down, but not by more than 50%. It would need to be at 3, and definitely not now. It would need to be at 3 to 2. Uh, the number 7 was a 12 to 1 morning line, that's sitting at 14. The number 8 was a 4 to 1 morning line, and it is currently sitting at 2 to 1, even though it was at 9 to 5 at the 5 minute marker. This horse has been bet down by 50%. And so this is looking like it's going to probably be the system play. Now, you want to get your bet in before they go to post, and depending on where you're at, I mean, if you're at the horse track, you're going to have no problem. There's machines everywhere. If you're at a race book, or if you're on internet mobile, no problem there either. If you're at a race book, it might become problematic. Lines can get long. There might be only so many tellers. So... You know, the, the system isn't hard and cold of when you want to go to the counter. It's just the, the earlier you go, the more likely it is you may not get the odds you're looking for. The longer you can hold out, the more likely it is, you know, your odds will kind of stay true to form and you'll be on the right horse. So by about two minutes to post, you're going to probably want to, at that point, make your final check of the numbers and be in position to get your bet down. And looking at this, it's looking like it's going to be the 8. Now, if no horse has been bet down by more than 50%, then there's no play unless there is one asterisk. And I'll tell you guys about that here in a second because it's pro it's, I don't think it's going to apply to this race. Um, but with this system... Sometimes you'll end up on the favorite, and sometimes you'll end up on long shots. Uh, there's a lot of variance, and uh, you know you can kind of come up with your own variance of what's going on here and apply it to different styles of wagering or exotic play, things of that nature. So we're two minutes to post. So one more check of the numbers, and nothing's really changed. You know, we're writing them down one more time, and you know the the theory behind this method 
is that you're looking to take advantage of the smart money, that money that comes in late, that, you know, somebody's been holding out and, you know, waiting to play their cards, and the eight has taken the biggest bet down, and it's been more than 50%. So at this point, the system play is go to the counter and make your maximum unit bet on the eight. Don't bet the farm. Don't bet the house. But what I'm saying is, there is like you want to have a big bet with this method and you also want to have a smaller bet just in case the system play ends up being a long shot because if it's a longer odds, odds horse you may not want to bet as much and there's one other situation too I'll tell you about in a little what in a little bit where you might end up on a price so you might want to have let's say a two unit bet and a one unit bet or a three unit bet and a one unit bet you know in this case you would make your, your max bet if it's a two unit bet, three unit bet, whatever, on the eight. And in the event, sometimes you might be in a race where you have two horses. One might be a morning line of four to one, it gets bet down to two to one. Maybe you have one that's two to one, it gets bet down to even money. Well, in that case, they both dropped in half. You would take a higher odds horse. You would bet the two to one shot. Or if you had the horse that was four to one that dropped to two to one, and the horse that was a two to one morning line dropped three to five. That's a much bigger drop. Two to one to three to five is a much bigger drop in price than four to two to two to one. So with this system, the three to five horse would then become theoretically the play because that's where theoretically you hope the smart money is going. So, uh oh, here we go. It's freezing again. I don't know. Well, we'll see how this works tonight because, like I said, I want to play. I am going to play Remington Park. I am going to play the early pick four. I am going to do some live streaming. I am going to release that pick four play uh, to anybody that is interested, as well as other plays I have lined up because I got $30 in the BetUS account after my derby win yesterday. So I'm making this like a $30 handicapping challenge tonight. So I can only use that $30. And I'm going to play the early pick four. I've already looked at it. There's definitely some things that interest me. I'm going to make some other bets. But I just want to see how this is going to stream, how this is going to work, if this, you know, what approach I'm going to have to take. Because I know with Derby Day yesterday, everybody's going to be loading up and jumping down. <laughs> and I didn't anticipate that. I, th I thought maybe five people were going to watch. <laughs> it was like 50 or 70. It was crazy. Um... So I want to just, but this is not YouTube TV. This is just the Gulfstream live stream. And like I said, I'm just going to be going off the Remington Park live stream later. I can't even do TVG because TVG is only showing like the last race of that early pick four. They're not going to show the whole card. So I forked out $5 to RTN so I could show the races that uh, I plan on betting tonight. So here we go. For our watching the tote board, the eight horses are play. We bet our three units on it. Good luck to us. Let's see if uh, that's where the smart money really was at. Here, let's get the... Uh... Ratchets in the gate is Noble Indy. He settles now. Ryder was off, though. Barrios going to get tied back on. Ready now. And they're off. On the far outside, Monforte ridden for the early lead, and he'll get it with not much problem. Well, we're on the early lead. Over the channel at the rail third. On from fourth, that's Harbor Master. Then comes Threshold. The early trailer is me and Mr. C. In the charge around the first turn, Paca Lopez puts Monforte right where he wants to be. On the lead and in front by two and a half. Noble Indy is together with an inside running over the channel. They're second and third. Monforte's out in the three lane there. From fourth and Harbor Master, then me and Mr. C and Threshold. 23 and one for the opening quarter. Down the back stretch they go. Monforte gets to play the game his way today as he's clear and cruising. Second, Noble Indy. Third, over the channel. Fourth, and Harbor Master. Then me and Mr. C and Threshold at the back. Entire field from six lengths from first to last with half a mile to the finish. 
Monforte leads, and he leads by a length and a half. He went 46 seconds for the opening half mile. This is the way he does business as he ends up a far turn on top of length and a quarter. Noble Indy is there, second over the channel, third. Me and Mr. C has made steady progress, fourth while a bit wide on the course. Then Harbor Master and Threshold at the back. They run to the top of the stretch. Monforte tries to run them off their legs. <laughs> well, here we go. Are we going to go wire to wire with no handicapping? Third. Then me and Mr. C. Harbor Master is next as they straighten for the drive. Three quarters, 109 and one. There's I think Nate's got this one Monforte easy. Yeah. Nate's got this. No handicapping. The there you go. That was a six to five winner, but you didn't lose your money, right? All you had to do was just watch the tote board. All right, so... Then it was Noble Indy, 132 and 3. Um, post time for the early pick four at Remington Park will be around 4.30 Pacific time. So I'm assuming somewhere in there I will take to the airwaves definitely beforehand a little bit and uh, set the table. So I hope you guys enjoyed this.